In this video, I want to show you how to track last sign-in time of authenticated user. Here, I have basic Laravel 5.4 setup and scaffold authentication. I'll register a new user. I'll switch to phpMyAdmin, and this is the user's table look like. To track last sign-in time, we need to add one or more columns in this table. To do that, I'll be using database migration, but feel free to create that manually in phpMyAdmin. I'll switch over to my terminal, and here I'll type php artisan migration add sign-in add to users, table users. Now I'll open the newly created migration file, select all command, and I'll drop a column. I'm kidding. I mean drop the column in the down method. Here in up method, I'll define column in timestamp and make it nullable. Switch to terminal again and run the migration. Now we have a new column to track last time user sign in. Now the question is, how can we update this column? All we need to do is using Laravel authentication event. Let's go to Laravel guide. Here in the search form, let's type authentication, gem to event. As not here that Laravel raises a variety of events during the authentication process. We may attach listeners to these events in our event service provider. As you can see here, there are a lot of events such as register, attempting, authenticated, login, failed, logout, and locked out. In this case, we only need login event. For now, let's copy this login event listener. Open app providers, event service providers, and paste in the listener attribute. Here I'll change the listener name to update last sign in app. So this means when login event performed will update the last sign in app column in users table. What's next? Let's go back to Laravel guide and click this event link. Here we have registered the event and listener. And the next thing we have to do is generate the events and listener by running this command. and navigate to app listeners. Here we have two listeners as we registered them in event service providers. Just ignore the first file and open update last sign in at. Here in handle method, we can access the current authenticated user using event object. So to update the column, just specify the column name. In this case, last sign in at, and the value is the current time. We can use carbon now and set the change to the database. And don't forget to use the carbon namespace in the top. Let's also show the last sign in time in the dashboard. Open resources views home blade PSP. And here let's show a message. And last sign in time. If we reload the page, it only shows a message. The login time is currently empty. Now let's log out and log in again. And now it shows a message and last sign in time. Let's also add another column to track the current time user sign in. Here I'll make new migration. PHP artisan make migration add current sign in at two users. Double users. Open the newly created migration.
and define a new column in timestamp new label and I'll place it after updated that column save changes and run the migration let's see in PHP my admin so here we have two columns we'll save the current time when user sign in in this current sign in at column and the last sign in at column to save the last or previous time user sign in so here the use case for the first time user sign in both these columns save the current time of user sign in for a second time and so on user perform sign in the current sign in at column will save the current time user sign in but the last sign in at column will save the previous time of current sign in at column i hope you make sense back to our editor and here when login event is fired we save the current time in current sign in at and because we need to save the previous sign in time which store in current sign in at column so above here before current sign in at change with current time we'll sign it to last sign in at column since the first time this column has same time with current sign in at column so here we do a check if the current sign in at column is not null we get the previous time otherwise we get the current time before we try let's also change our dashboard to show the current sign in at column time And I think for a better look, let's utilize div for humans method. And of course, we need to tell Eloquent to treat this column as carbon object. Now let's go to PSP admin. And clear both these columns. And let's sign in again. Here in both message, we can see that both column has the same time. Let's relog in again. Here, the last sign in in a few seconds ago. That's it. Thanks for watching.